What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 7. We'll be talking about Brightburn 2, which finally has an update. We'll be talking about the Strangers trilogy, and we'll be talking about the Exorcist Believer. Now, just to kick this off with Scream 7, Christopher Landon was recently on Craven Something Scary's channel. Shout out to you. Uh, this past week and i'll leave a link to the full interview for everyone to enjoy down below in the description of this video landon wasn't allowed to talk about screen 7 but his comments got very interesting when craven asked this brilliant question i would say landon admitted that having input on the screenplay is very critical to him as a director and then he alluded to him being involved or admitted to the fact that he's been involved in this process whether he gets credit or not but there's not a film he's directed where he didn't have input, basically, or some type of writing contributions. Again, regardless of if he got credit or not. This is important to me because that's one step closer to what I've been hearing regarding a few people who might have tweaked the script of Scream 7, one of them being Landon. And while that's not too shocking because a lot of us predicted this possibility, his admission of it makes me confident in the rumor I was told about him having a hand in the screenplay. And he probably won't get credit either, or even if he does this is still mostly guy and james's script the other folks i've heard about will definitely make you guys happy but i'm not going to disclose those names just yet landon's actions i also want to add are not something that are unheard of it's not something that's uncommon it's quite common but it's just safe to assume that going off of his comments even though he didn't outwardly say scream 7 it's safe to go down into the conclusion right now that his streak won't be broken with scream 7 and he has his hands on that screenplay and has had some input on that screenplay whether it was some in-depth tweaking that would lead to him needing to be credited as a co-writer or not i'm going to assume he is involved in the writing process and there are two other names that i've heard about who are also involved in the writing process of scream 7 but this is still mostly guy and james's story that's what i know as of now um that's what's really important i hope those other names i've heard about are true as well because i know a lot of you guys would be happy with these names so diving into brightburn 2 according to deadline brightburn producer the h collective is launching h3 entertainment a company it says will look to integrate the metaverse web3 and ai into a slate of films I, I could be saying that web one wrong, but the company tells Deadline it intends to incorporate new technology into the production process of projects it has in development, including a sequel to horror movie Brightburn. Look, the last time I can recall hearing anything about Brightburn that was positive, I could be wrong, but the last substantial thing I recall was in 2019 when James Gunn said discussions are happening. The ending of that movie definitely left us with a universe to explore beyond the character of Brandon, who of course was our evil Superman character. I don't think Brightburn is great, but I did love it just as much as I know a lot of you probably loved it. What would you want to see in Brightburn 2? To let me know down in the comment section below and did you or didn't you enjoy that first movie i've seen some of you already state that it's unnecessary so if you're hearing this video right now why is it unnecessary just sell me on that because we know why it's happening it's due to the financial success more than anything yes it took some years but in the back of my mind i was like okay they'll figure out something soon because brightburn it made it made it it, it made back its budget a few times <laughs> but diving into the strangers trilogy the Strangers trilogy, we know, is going to show us a first look at the upcoming trilogy from Lionsgate at New York Comic Con next month on October 12th. I talked about that in a recent video of mine. Rennie Harlan and Courtney Solomon are expected to be there for this presentation. And now it seems something one of you shared with me last year is still coming to life. If you take a look at this teaser imagery for the upcoming Comic Con event, it seems to confirm that the Strangers in this upcoming trilogy will indeed have a similar look to the ones we saw many years ago for the first time back in 2008 this was again a tidbit that was shared with me last year by one of you guys so shout out to you you know who you are it's been a while since i've watched those two films but i believe those original strangers are dead now i think there's actually an alternate ending of prey at night where uh where one of them is still alive but again it's been a while i have to watch them again for a refresher so knowing this is set in the same universe courtesy of one of the actors who revealed this earlier this year i'm curious if this teaser imagery 
could be marketing bait to appeal to us fans of the series or if they genuinely are going to have new people in the same costumes only time will tell but the teaser imagery definitely sparked my intrigue and if they're wearing the same costumes are they connected to the people that have already died that we have no known about in the past granted here's the other thing there's always the possibility that this is somehow a prequel now it might not be a possibility if there are some other other set images that might ruin or kill that possibility but i've always wondered could this actually be a prequel prequel of movies to those first two that we already have we know it's set in the same universe so anything's possible it's not a complete remake like it's been marketed as we'll just have to wait and see diving into the exorcist believer the exorcist believer has some action sequences that apparently could outdo the original yeah that's a funny statement <laughs> The stunt coordinator said there are some impactful and astounding scenes that could potentially trump what people remember from 50 years ago. This is coming from stunt coordinator Ashley Ray, who tells this to Total Film Magazine. Look, there is no way. I mean, maybe a 5% maybe a chance as of now, as far as I'm concerned. There's no way I can fully believe that. I mean, let's say these sequences are better than that original. Uh, or they managed to outdo it. It's probably band-aids for the week's story that's unfolding on my screen. I look forward to being proven wrong because, again, as I've stated, if it's good, then it's good. But everything I've been fed doesn't sound good, nor do the trailers help anything. The second trailer being better than the first one for sure. But those comments from the stunt, co stunt coordinator just come off as laughable right now. They completely do. There is nothing about this trailer that seems like it's outdoing the original. It seems like it's competing with all of the other generic Exorcist films we get today that want to be as cool and as iconic as that original film from the 70s. That's what I'm getting vibes of. I'm not getting any vibes of something in this is gonna outdo it unless you have something up your sleeve that hasn't been showcased in the trailer. And sure, to people who haven't seen the original Exorcist and maybe they go and see it for the first time since it's going back to theaters this October, when they sit down and watch the new one, they're gonna be like, oh, it outdid it because they didn't grow up on that original and grow up with all of the iconic imagery from that original so they would easily be able to sit down and watch this new one and say oh yeah this was better way, way more action-packed the sequences are better me though i don't see that happening i don't see that happening uh but i'm willing to be proven wrong let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below also the last thing just to throw this in here small little update about chucky season three something about chucky season three is supposed to be dropping today uh i also want to share with you guys that yes i do know that i'm expected to have the episodes in my inbox by the end of the week so i will be watching chucky season three shortly but whatever the update is that we're getting today i'll have a separate video up later as well for that update if it's anything substantial let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me see movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video